Mike Pereira is the former uh, NFL official, former head of officiating, and I guess now he's the, uh, you see him on Sundays, he is the uh, Fox Sports consultant. And uh, so he, uh, former vice president of officiating in the NFL, and you see him on Fox uh, Sports, they go to him to judge calls. And I think he's, he's actually, he's, he's pretty good and he's pretty candid. Um, you know, he, I, I'm sure, tends to defend the officials. But it turns out, and this I find interesting, because the NFL forges these contracts with the TV networks. They got a big contract with Fox, big contract with CBS, NBC, and, uh, and ESPN, who does Monday Night Football. John Gruden, one of the three men in the booth on Monday Night Football, and Mike Pereira hates John Gruden. Uh, he wrote it in a column on Fox Sports, posted this week, uh, uh, Rick, what did he say about John Gruden? Well, he basically called him a blowhard. And what the best part of his column that I, I personally I thought was good was that he said in the second quarter alone, Gruden butchered two plays regarding hits on defenseless receivers. To me, the second you agree to step into the broadcast booth, you agree to learn the rules. It goes with the job. Yeah, that's good. He's uh, Here's the first quote. That's good, very specific, and we're going to mention those two hits. I'm not a fan of Gruden's, Pereira wrote. Not today, not yesterday. Not when I worked for the NFL and not when I was working on the field as a side judge. He was a loudmouth as a coach who constantly disrespected officials. He's a blowhard in the broadcast booth <laughs> who spouts off when he doesn't know what he's talking about. This is fun. That's good stuff. So uh, apparently you mentioned that there were two hits in the Saints-Falcons game Monday night that uh, Gruden took issue with. Uh, one, a uh, Curtis Lofton helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit on uh, uh, Marcus Colston, who's described here as being uh, defenseless. That drew a 15-yard penalty, which Gruden objected to. And then moments later, I guess, uh, there was another hit, Malcolm Jenkins on Reggie Kelly, that was sh led with the shoulder, that no penalty was called. And Gruden... Gruden said, I just, I just do not understand how games are being officiated. Right. Uh, to which Pereira pointed out, uh, uh, he said, uh, Gruden said he doesn't understand how games are being officiated correctly and consistently in this case, Pereira defending both of the calls. Uh, and now that Pereira mentions it, and I don't know how much he planted it in my head, I, I get frustrated when these guys don't know the specifics of the rules. Some rules I know better than plenty of broadcasters, and then some rules I don't, and then I look to them to know it, and they clearly don't quite get, and look, it's complicated. Like, when is a, you know, when is the ball allowed to touch the ground on a catch? Like, that stuff has changed, and it's confusing, and I get it, and there's certain things you can be confused about. But they ought to know very specifically what is deemed a defenseless receiver and what a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit, hit constitutes. I think that's pretty obvious. But, uh, yeah, Gruden is sort of, uh, right, you can, you can complain about a call, but Pereira's point is if you're going to complain about the call, you better know what the rules are. I, and I completely agree with him, but the one point that I want to make, I think John Gruden is fine. I, I, think he's, I think he's pretty good on Monday Night Football. The one thing, the one knack I have for him is that if you, if you were to play like a drinking game and you had to drink every time he said this guy to describe somebody, you would be fucking hammered at the end of the night. Because all he says is, let me, and Chris Collinsworth is guilty of it too. That's how they describe people. But he always says, well, you know, this guy is, came from Hofstra, Marquise Colston, and this guy made this catch. He overuses well, the this guy. You, you want to look, when you're uh, live on the air, uh, uh, as I've been, not doing a game, obviously, like you, you tend to fall into stuff like that. And I, I would want people to point that out because you don't want to use stuff as crutches. I notice when I watch myself stuff I do again and again. But, you know, as long as the analysis each time he says this guy is sort of fresh and good, I think Collinsworth is really good. I think he Collinsworth is, is, is exceptional, and I think Gruden's pretty good. And I'm not saying he's bad. Not yeah. at all. Not at all. I'm just saying he's guilty of using it, too. Um, but anyway, uh, good stuff from uh, Mike Pereira. Uh, I'm not a fan of Gruden's. Not yesterday. Not today. Not when I worked for the NFL. Not when I was working on the field. Blowhard as a uh, 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 blowhard in the broadcast booth. That's good stuff. I like my, And I like Mike Pereira, too. All right. I'm surprised Mike that... I suspect that there are some ramifications for that today. Like, they'll ask him perhaps not to criticize another part of the NFL network, so to speak. If you the follow broad NFL network, not the specific NFL network. If you follow Mike Pereira on Twitter, he has some really good tweets during the game. No, all right. I'll, he does. I'll, uh, I'll follow Mike Pereira on Twitter, but only if he'll follow me.